everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here today. So stay tuned to see how I create this floral embossed card. Here are the supplies that you'll need to create today's card. Uh, today I'm showcasing a 2D embossing of folders that Spellbinders kindly sent to me to create with. It's called Columns. It's full of diamonds and lines. It's really cool looking. And then I'm going to showcase the Stylish Oval Hello You Floral Etch Dies from the Stylish Oval Collection. And I'm showing you what I have my dies stored on here. This is magnet cards, new magnet cards from uh, Stampin' Storage. I love them. I, I want to slowly switch my current ones over to these. Uh, they're really sturdy and pretty and they look great in my craft room. And then I'm going to be using some Fashion Gold self-adhesive embellishments from Spellbinders and Glimmer Mist from Gina K, some gold glimmer mist, to create today's card. So I recently picked up this really cute die cutting machine from Sizzix, the Sizzix Sidekick. It's really cute. And uh, that little lever holds it down in place nicely onto my glass craft mat there. It doesn't move or shift, so I love that about it. And the nice thing is it fits all these little uh, dies uh, over here to the right so I don't always have to take my die cutting off camera to my Gemini. I can show you how I do my die cutting here. Uh, so I picked out a few different colors of cardstock. So that's the flower we're going to create right now. I love how this card turned out. I think it really showcased the columns embossing folder nicely. So I'm just picking out... Um, the few pieces that we'll need. But see here, see how nice that is? It's just so cute and it doesn't take up any space on your desk at all to use. So uh, if you're interested, I will have a link to that in my um, description box below to the sidekick if you're interested. I purchased it off of Amazon. And um, I can't remember the brands of cardstock that I'm using, uh, so they, I just pulled a bunch of pieces from my stash and cut them to size. Oh, I wanted to show you this bowl. Uh, when we were on vacation recently in Mexico, uh, there was these beautiful bowls, handmade, hand-painted, everything that someone uh, made, and I had to have them, so I think I purchased maybe three or four different bowls, and then my mother-in-law gave me one for Christmas. It was really nice. They're very colorful, and I thought this worked really nice to hold all the little pieces uh, that I'm die-cutting here, so um, there's that. <laughs> and so now I'm just going on to cutting out everything that we need to make the flower. I thought I picked some nice blue color, some nice teals to work with. Running them through. See how easy to th that is? I'm really happy with this little machine. Oh, and another neat thing that I picked up uh, from Kathy, I saw her using the magnets for the um, craft glass mat to hold items down on the mat, which works wonderfully so that they don't roll into your where you're working. So see how I have that magnet there? I have the um, Gina K uh, pick and stick, I think it's what it's called, tool embe embellishment tool there. And the magnet's holding it so it doesn't slide all over the place. Not that it really slides, but you know, just in case. Um, and here we go, finishing die cutting the flower out. See how that bowl just works nicely to hold all the little pieces? Look how pretty that is. And now we're done with the die cutting. So I thought the partial embossing folder technique would show this embossing folder off really nicely. So that's what I'm setting up here to do. I took my spray bottle and I just misted the cardstock because that helps uh, em do th that helps the embossing process and helps it from cr the cardstock from cracking. It holds the fibers together, and I'm just following the instructions on the universal plate system to do the embossing. 
But here, here's the trick with this technique. You only want to go to a certain point because it's partial embossing. You don't want to emboss the whole card piece of the card panel. So I'll show you here in a second. Sorry, it's a little off camera there. So that's what it looks like. And now I'm going to show you how to do the score lines. So I'm getting out my score buddy here and lining up the card panel to the score buddy and getting out my bone folder and just lining it up to the very end of where the embossing is. There we go. And just score it a few times to get a nice impression there. See? And that's how you get the partial. And now we're gonna uh, flip it over and do the bottom side of the card panel because we want to leave room for the sentiment and the flower. And so that's what I'm doing here. And I'm just getting out one of the sentiments here to help measure where I want the other half to end. So that'll work. And then just doing the same thing here, setting it up carefully to do the embossing. I don't want it to shift. Just following the same instructions and running it through my Platinum 6 die cutting machine. There we go. Now check this out. Where you go. See? Look at that. Isn't that awesome? And I'm now we're going to score the other half. Get out my trusty bone folder here and score it down to the, the, there we go. That looks good. Yes. Okay. See, look how cool that looks. I love the columns and the lines and the diamonds. So neat. I thought this fit well with the, you know, adding a flower. Kind of reminded me of a trellis in the garden. That's what it looked like to me. So now I'm getting out the splatter. I'm using the, I just sprayed down some of the Gina K Glimmer Mist, the gold, and just lightly splattering over the card panel using my splat box to help contain everything. And there we go. See, just, just light splatter. And then I love how you can just wipe it away, the, the remaining away, and then cleaning off the paintbrush, the, paintbrush here with some water and wiping it away. There we go. Nice and clean, ready to go for the next time. So here, here you go. You can see that gold shine. So pretty. Everything needs splatter, right? <laughs> and I just wanted to kind of dry it a little bit. So I got out my heat gun here to help dry the splatter. There we go. That looks awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna layer this up with some gold matte cardstock. I thought that would just look awesome with the gold splatter. You can never go wrong with gold and white card. Adding the Gina K dot runner here. And I'm gonna layer this up to the gold matte. Cardstock, this is gold matte from Simon Says Stamp. How classy does that look? I love it. And I wanted to show you what it looks like without the splatter. I personally like the one with the splatter. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you love to splatter everything? And here I'm doing some die cut surgery. <laughs> I know that was that was hard for me, <laughs> but I just wanted to, a little flower, and I didn't need the whole thing. And so there we go. Now adding the leaves to the branch here. It looks so neat. I see. Sometimes that's why you you don't always need. Um, I, I say this a lot. You don't always need everything in that die that or that stamp. You can 
you can cut things to your liking to create what you want. There we go, adding some more leaves. So have you all been crafting after the holidays? I know I've been busy crafting. I've been crafting and well, making lots of videos. I have lots scheduled. Uh, there should be a lot of back-to-back -back, uh, videos here in the next uh, week or so um, that, I, that uh, I will have fun showcasing some new items that I received. So I can't wait for you to, to see that. Um, I'm doing a lot of things lately with florals. Uh, I'm not sure why that is, but that just happens to be. But I thought this would made a great set. I could easily make more of these. So let me know what y'all have been crafting. Are you making Valentine's Day cards yet? So now I'm just piecing everything together and lining them up where I want the flower to go. I'm using Gina K Connect glue here and my reverse tweezers to help me out. Yep. And added some yellow, needed some more color. That was uh Trying to figure out the other day if I should just leave the flowers blue, the two-toned blue that I have going on here, or if it needed more color. And I asked my friends on uh, Facebook to see if, about what they thought, and a lot of people just loved it as is. And then I had one friend uh, text me letting me know that I needed some more color, so I went with that and added the yellow to the flower. So. Uh, it's kind of fun asking people's opinions. There we go. Last bit of the flower left to go. And now we can adhere everything. I sped this up because I didn't know if you wanted me to watch that in real time. So this has been sped up for editing purposes. I've got a little bit of glue there. That's okay, it dries clear. I just picked it up a little bit with my cloth. But I love how this is turning out. This is one of my favorite cards I've made lately. It's kind of nice and, nice and simple without being too simple, you know what I mean? And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna layer it to the card base using the Gina K dot runner. I want to get out my score buddy to help line things up. I love this because it just helps line things up each and every time. See what I mean? Perfect. I love how classy and elegant this looks. It's really pretty. And then we're going to bling this up after I add the sentiment. I'm doubling the um, foam adhesive on here because I wanted these are these are thin ones, so I wanted to give it some more uh, lift. So I added two each. There we go. See how I can make this a, a complete set? Like I can add probably you know two or three more different cards with different colored flowers to make it a set. I think that would be a cool idea. But and now it's time to add the bling. So as I put the finishing touches onto my card here, the bling, I wanted to give a big shout out to my friend Beth. She is the moderator over at Kathy's channel during Kathy's Lives. And we recently met in person and we've been talking with each other for a long time in Kathy's chat. And she's been recently sharing me sharing with me some of her crafty goodies. So I wanted to give her a big shout out and a thank you because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to create this wonderful flower here today. But she's the one that gave me that die set. So thank you, Beth. I really appreciate it. And I also wanted to give a shout out to my subscribers. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. 
Thank you all to my existing and my new subscribers. Thank you all for liking my videos, thumbs upping, um, all the things, commenting. It all helps my channel out so very much. And I have included all my affiliate links in the description box. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Ciao for now.